Hi, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to hit a masonry nail into a face brick wall or a plastered wall. Now over here I've got some examples of masonry nails. Now this steel cut nail, commonly used outdoors, can go directly into concrete brick or plaster. These over here can go into brick or plaster. Now these over here, while they are masonry nails, these are best used for hitting into the cement. Because sometimes, especially these longer ones, they do bend when you are trying to hit them into a brick. Now over here, I've got some other nails. Now this is a wire nail, cannot be used for masonry, it'll just bend. This is for wood. This is a clout nail with a big head. This is also just for wood, it should not be used for masonry. These are panel pins and these are just used for wood. In order to hit the nail in the wall, you're going to need a hammer. Make sure the condition of the hammer is good. Some hammer heads look like this and they are rounded. These are harder to use when hitting in nails. Make sure your hammer is flat and is designed for the intended purpose. Please use eye protection when hitting in nails in walls. Sometimes the heads break off and the heads can ricochet and hit into your face. If you are going to be using the nails for hanging things, you might want a spirit level and a measuring tape. While this is not a mandatory step, it is actually just a hack, I'll also show you how to stop the plaster from lifting by using a little cordless screwdriver. If you have a pair of long nose pliers, this can be useful to hold the nail in place before you hammer. You can also just use a peg. Right, I've marked off the spot on the wall where I want to hit in the nail. Now what you need to do is hold the nail like that and gently tap it in. You can see how the nail is already sticking into the wall. Now, unfortunately, plaster walls often tend to split as you nail it in. So I'm going to do this first nail doing it the traditional way. Then I'll show you a little hack that I've developed which stops it from bulging the plaster which is sitting right here. Now, it doesn't always bulge the plaster, but sometimes it happens. Now, the most important thing here is that the nail is horizontal. Do not hit the nail in like that. If you hit the nail in at an angle like this, all that's going to happen is the paint and plaster is going to bulge and you're going to find that a chip of plaster is going to fall out of the wall. So you want to be horizontal just like that. You want to take the hammer and notice the line of the hammer. The hammer must hit the nail horizontally. Be careful of hitting the nail like that. You can see that I'm coming at an angle and all that's going to happen is the nail is going to fly out of the wall. If I come like that, the same thing. Right, so there's the nail. So what I'm saying is that the hammer has to go directly onto the head of the nail. So the best way to do that is to stand directly behind the nail. If you're trying to do this at an angle, there's a very high chance the nail will go skew and eventually pop out. Right, so there you can see I'm holding it and hammering it into the wall. Now check that it is going in straight. You can see that the nail is exactly horizontal. And while you don't have to get a spirit level and do this step, I'm just showing you that the nail is exactly horizontal. Now if you're worried about hammering your fingers, you could have just held the nail in place with the long nose pliers. Remember that the first few taps are actually very light. Now it's already embedded slightly into the wall. Now I can gently tap it firmer and firmer as I go along. Now this is where a lot of people make mistakes. They think it is already firmly in the wall and now they already start to hit it quite hard with the hammer. You still want to hit it gently but slightly firmer now. So it's very important to still keep the hammer in alignment. Now you can see that it is going into the wall but it is splitting a little bit of this plaster. I'll show you how to solve that problem when I hit in the next nail. Right, now you can hit this slightly firmer. Now I can hit it in a bit deeper. And I could hang my picture. Right, so there you see the finished product. Right, now I'm going to show you what happens if you hit the nail in at an angle. Now, say for example you decided to hit the nail at an angle. You can really see the paint is starting to peel and break off. And you can see how it's lifting the cement. And actually a piece will come off here. Right, you can see how a chunk of cement is coming out there. So the point here is that if you find you're going skew, stop and redo it, rather than trying to fix the alignment while you're hitting the nail in. And you can see what a mess that's made. Now it does happen that sometimes even if you're hitting it in properly, it does split the plaster a little bit and I'm going to show you a little trick to stop that from happening. 
Right, I want to hit the nail over there, but I don't want it to split any of the plaster or paint. So what I've got is a cordless screwdriver, and it has got a little bit here. This is for steel, but I'm just going to gently and lightly drill maybe two millimeters into the plaster, just to have a small pilot hole before I hit the nail in. And you can see how slow I'm going. So you can see there's a little pilot hole there now. Right, so now when I bring the nail, it can actually embed there without that sideways pressure that normally splits the plaster and paint. So now when I hit in the nail, you can see that the hole is perfect. It's not going to make any damage here. So this is particularly useful if the nail is going to be in full view. For example, if I was going to hang something and the nail was still going to be visible, then you don't want to have all the splits here around the nail hole. Right, now to hit the nail in a face brick. There you can see I want to hang this little flower here and here is my masonry nail. Now here are some tips. Now it is easier to hit the nail into the cement, but in this case I'm going to hit it into the brick and I'm going to show you some tips. The first thing is don't hit a nail right on the side. What will happen is the brick will split. So if you are going to hit a nail into the brick, make sure you're towards the middle and also on this side. You do not want to hit the nail there or there. So over here is fine. Right, now I'm going to hit the nail into the brick. So I find my position and I'm gently tapping the nail. Notice that I'm holding the hammer quite high up, but when you want to get full power, you need to hold the hammer lower down. But right now I'm more interested in control rather than power. And that is why I'm just tapping it here and and holding the hammer quite high up. Now it is actually embedded into the brick, but you can see that it's actually going at an angle. Why? Because this brick is higher than my eye line. And this is one of the reasons why people hit nails in skew is because of parallax. So actually this nail is going in skew. So I'd rather start again. Now the nail is horizontal. And I'm gently increasing the hammering pressure. Now I can start to hit it quite firmly. Right, note that the hammer hits the nail in line. If you're hammering like this, you're going to knock the nail out of the brick. What this means is you need to be high enough to hit the hammer head directly on the nail. You can see that once the hammer impacts the nail, the hammer is almost perpendicular to the ground. That will force the nail into the wall in a straight alignment. If you start hitting it wildly, you'll see you'll go out of alignment and that will start to bend that nail or make the nail into the brick out of alignment. Now I can hit quite firmly. Now very important is to do a quick quality check. Are you going in straight? Is the nail still fine? Yes. Now I just need to hit it in a little bit more in order to hang the flower. Right, now what you're seeing is the head broken off the nail. Now if this happens to you and you definitely need a proper nail with a head here, you can remove the nail. Now how you remove the nail is gently take your hammer and just tap it side to side. Just gently. Right, now that you've done that, you take pliers and you turn the nail. And you can see how easy the nail just comes out. Now I can insert a new nail and just tap it in. Right, now I can hang my ornament. Now because the head is still on, I can use a claw hammer and just pull it out. When you're pulling it out, do not be too vigorous. I just do gentle tugs. And the reason being is I don't want a clump of cement or even part of a brick to come out with the nail. So I'm just doing gentle tugs. And it is already loose and I just get ready to grab the nail as it comes out. Right, if your installation requires the nail to be hit in the cement, you will need a slightly longer nail. Gently tap it to start. As I'm increasing my impact strength, you can see the head of the hammer is going further back. Note that when I strike the nail, my hammer lands in a perpendicular position to the ground. 
Now with a painted face brick wall, often when you take the nail and you hit it into either the brick or the cement, some of the paint comes off. Even if I hammer the nail correctly, it still opens up some of that paint. And there you can see I barely started and some of the paint is already coming off. Right, so that's the resultant damage. Now I haven't done anything wrong here, it's just the nature of hitting a nail into a wall. Therefore rather use my hack of drilling a small pilot hole first. And even if I hammer into the brick, it still opens some of the paintwork. Right, there you can see some of the paintwork has come off. Right, there you can see another example of where the paint comes off. You could use the pre-drill method just so that you do not damage any of the paint. So for example, if I want to hammer into the cement there, I can just pre-drill just a few millimeters using a drill bit. Right, so there you can see the hole. And if it's going to go in the brick, you follow the same procedure. Right, so there you can see in the brick without damaging any of the paintwork. 